Now, as part of the government's new energy strategy, landlords will be forced to meet net zero targets within five years or they will be banned from letting. But with rents going up by more than 10 percent, that's, you know, it's getting up a lot more than that in some places. Is it renters or landlords who are actually the real victims here? Right. Well, here to thrash this one out, CEO of Generation Home, that's Will Rice, who believes renters are mistreated. Abdul Karim, uh, on the other hand, is a landlord who thinks the government is putting landlords against renters. What do you mean by that, Abdul? So, with Section 24 coming in place, interest rate rises and rent rises, it's all the landlords I know are finding it more difficult, if not they're trying to get out of the game, because of all these changes and costs going up. You're trying to get out of the game? Yeah. So a lot of people would see this as just like, you know, manna from heaven. You know, you sit there and it's easy money. It's easy to make money as a landlord. Um, not as easy as it used to be? I wouldn't say it's easy really at all because to get the deposit for a house, if you're buying in London, for example, that's a lot of money to tie down in capital. And if you want to get your property rented out, you need to find the tenants or find a good agency. Then you've got your tax that you need to take care of. You need to make sure the place is in good maintenance. You've got these energy costs, all these things that you need to take care of and provide a good experience. Well, Will, I can almost hear all those renters thinking, well, you know what, I'd love to have those problems. I can only dream of, you know, being a good landlord. But it's tough out there for renters, arguably harder than ever. I think it is harder than ever. It's, it's actually brutal and really concerning that it's very difficult to see any light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, a report came out yesterday from Zoopla that showed that the, um, the number of renters in the market at the moment, so people looking for properties, is 50% higher than the five-year average. And the supply of rental properties is 33% below the five-year average. So, I mean, that tells the story in itself. There's an enormous squeeze. Um, and you ask, where are these numbers coming from? Mm. Um, there's a pretty simple dynamic. In the last uh, 12 months, we had what, net, net migration was around about half a million. So the population of the UK in total grew by over half a million people. And the number of new properties that we added was about 200,000. Um, and this is happening year after year. Um, so the squeeze on available supply of property um, is something that has been building for a while. And at the moment, there are re there's really no signs of that dynamic change. a huge change in our living habits as well. Lots of people living uh, on their own in a way that, you know, divorces, for example, whereas people would stay as a couple in houses, often that's now two households, and that's much that's, more... That's spot on. The fragmentation of households um, and the nuclear family has meant that uh, more housing supply is required for the given number of people in the, uh, in the overall population. Mm -hmm. um, so with that combined with the overall growth in population and very slow growth in housing stock, it's a recipe for trouble. Mm -hmm. Abdul, what would your case be for needing landlords? Why, as a country, do we need landlords well everybody needs a home and at the end of the day we didn't have landlords what would be the alternative i feel like it's very good to encourage everybody to even be a landlord as opposed to it being landlords versus renters how do we help renters get onto the property market there's uh, at least options in place where you can rent a property to buy you yeah. can uh, rent a property from your landlord and have the option to buy it in the future you can get on the property market and I feel like everybody should appreciate from the equity that there is when the property market grows. So I don't feel like it's a case of whether landlords should be not exist. I feel like how can we make it more easy for everybody to be a landlord? Well, it would make it uh, maybe more easy for everyone to be a landlord if the government built more social housing, wouldn't we? Absolutely, absolutely. So I run a property management a company called Ace Investment Properties and all the landlords I know they are finding it very hard to be in the game, as in they want to sell, they want to get out because of this Section 24. And Section 24 is also known as a tenant tax because they've made it very difficult for landlords to deduct their interest from the mortgages, which gets rid of all the profits in the market. So when you've got a tenant in a property, yeah. you can't deduct your interest from your tax bill. And for the viewers, essentially, if you are getting rent of £1,000, mm -hmm. the tax on that, you pay 40%. Or you could deduct your mortgage interest of £400 and you'd only pay tax on the £600, which would leave you around £200 in tax. Now you're paying tax on the 40% of £1,000, which is £400, which doubles. So imagine uh, you're running a business and your costs double. Not to mention the increase in interest rates of, let's say if your interest was £300, now £500. So literally all the profit is gone for landlords and it's very difficult mm -hmm. to be in the market. So. 
But Will, there are ways to be a landlord, perhaps not well advertised, that are actually tax efficient. For example, people having lodgers, uh, there are tax incentives to do that. And that's great for renters as well. You can get a room in a house. There are lots of big houses in London with empty rooms that aren't being used. Is that something that all of us should be considering where everybody's a winner? I'm not sure that counts as everyone being a winner in the sense that I think the vast majority of people would aspire to have private space of their own. Um, And there's a certain stage in life where renting rooms is possibly the best solution, not just financially, but also socially. Um, But uh, I don't think we can look at long term solutions that involve um, breaking up housing stock into and turning people from uh, from tenants into lodgers. Mm. Um, I think that structurally, the biggest challenge here um, facing tenants, but also facing landlords, and there, there are real, real considerations that landlords are facing right now that make it very difficult to stay in the game, as Abdul says, um, is, is the structure of the market and the role that estate agencies and letting agencies play in the market. Um, so if we're looking at why is it so hard to be a landlord or why are rents so high, a big answer to that question is so much of the overall revenue that landlords are generating, the rents that tenants are paying, is ending up in the pockets of intermediaries mm-hmm. within the market. And the market structure is so inefficient uh, that your estate agency or letting agency is able to pocket a very large share of the overall uh, revenue pool that exists there, which makes it harder for the landlord, but also means that um, rents are much higher than necessary for the tenant. So I think that the real solution here that uh, can address the, the, seri- the very, very serious concerns that tenants have today about their overall security in their property, um, uh, by which I mean you know, the, the, the visibility that they have on not being evicted, for yeah, example, at no easier. fault of their yeah, own. Yeah. Um, and also um, the uncertainty around what kind of rental increase is coming around the corner is to, is to really go into how do we reform the way in which uh, rental properties are marketed and maintained? Um, because that's a free win for everybody. That's a free lunch for landlords and tenants if we can make the market more efficient in the way that it operates. Okay, more okay. efficient and essentially just build more houses. That would help a lot. That's always going to happen. <laughs> and flats. Well, Rice, right. thank you very much indeed. Abdul Karim, appreciate it. Thank you very Thanks. much.